Hi, just a quick video to talk about brushes for watercolor. There's all kinds of brushes you can get. So I have, this, this is my brush collection um, in here. And many of these brushes will work for watercolor. Um, these will work. What you want is, so this is a round brush compared to a flat brush. And it's fine to have both for watercolor. And the round, I think you'll find the round is super, super helpful, but um, I like to have both available. But look at how much brush, brush you have. The more brush you have, the more water and paint it will hold. And that's a good thing. So you wanna look for that. And you want um, just an inexpensive synthetic um, bristle. Uh, these are also good for watercolor, um, different, uh, but also synthetic and uh, work, they work well. What you don't want is uh, a brush without much bristle. So for this one, for example, um, super, super soft and uh, not, not very long. And here's, a, here's another great example. This you would not use for watercolor. This is a flat brush that I use for acrylic paint. Um, not for watercolor, because it, it will not hold very much water or paint. So you want to stay away from that. Um, sizes, if you're just starting out, you just want to get just a few brushes to start with. Definitely get uh, a small, these are examples of small ones. Um, you could get either one, like one is a zero and one's a number one. Let me see if I can find my liner brush. Okay, so this is a liner brush. Do you see how long that is? You can use that for watercolor or acrylic, but the, the cool thing about the liner brush is you can load so much water and paint in that, and then you can make these uh, really great lines. This might be your outlines or just some really uh, intricate lines in whatever you're um, painting. Uh, but this is a great, great brush to have. Um, so I recommend you definitely get a liner brush. It's up to you, but I would if it were me. So this is a three over zero, which means it's uh, three zeros. Um, so it's very small and love that brush. Okay, so stay away from these uh, super stiff acrylic brushes. Get any of these or these um, with plenty of brush length and you want them to spring back, okay? So spring back, not, so this is a flat brush, but it's an example of one that doesn't, doesn't spring back as quickly I've got another one that's really, I might've gotten rid of my ones that don't spring back because um, you go to paint and they just, they just go flat. And it's hard, it's harder to paint with them for me. And I would think if you're just starting out that that would be for you too. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, oh, I, I didn't finish saying um, in terms of sizes, just get a small and kind of a medium size and then a larger size. So this might be your larger size, pretty close. Those are even still pretty close together. Um, that's a 10 and an eight. Yeah, so you might make maybe a 10 and a six, a seven, but that gives you, that gives you an example. Um, you can space them out in terms of size and then something smaller, like I mentioned, like a zero or a one, um, or get that liner brush. And then um, you could get just, depending on how big you want to start painting, you could get just a cheap, big, these are craftsmen, just craft paint brushes, but they're, they're soft, but they still have some spring back. And they actually work pretty well if you're going to do a big wash of um, a lot of water and a lot of, a lot of color in a big area. Um, so it's great to have something like that. Okay, so there you go for starting out with brushes and watercolor. Ready, go.